And today let's talk about how you can clone yourself like this. Hey. Oh, what's up, man? I don't say what's up, man. You serious? You're in my seat. I know, my bad. I'm just working on this edit. He's still working on the edit? Come on, dude. You were supposed to have that done yesterday. No. You serious? Slacking. Get it done. I am. I am. Idiot. Now this is a beginner's guide to cloning yourself in Adobe Premiere or any other editing software. It's super simple. Let's go. Okay, lights, camera, and action. What is up guys and welcome back. If you're new to this channel, then thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. This effect was created by using three separate takes. First things first, you need to have control over your lighting situation. So if you're outdoors, this is gonna be harder for you to recreate. Also, you'll need to have your camera settings in complete manual controls. You can't have your focus, white balance, or any other camera settings shift between your three takes. That being said, you also shouldn't move your camera like at all. Uh, so make sure it's in a stable place like on a tripod. It's easy to clone yourself without saying a word, but if you wanna have a conversation with yourself, here's an easy way to get that done. My first shot that I'm gonna film is whoever or whichever version of myself is gonna talk first. Now what I do is I use my phone to record my dialogue. The reason why I record my dialogue is so that I can talk back to it whenever I go to film the other versions of myself. So my next go around, I'll just be responding to the recording on my phone. Some other notes. You definitely need to be cautious of any shadows you may be causing. Uh, it's important that no version of yourself crosses paths with the other version. Um, while it's doable, that's on a whole nother level of masking that I'm not gonna dive into today. This is just the beginner's guide. Okay, so once your three takes or two takes are filmed, let's jump into the editing portion of this tutorial. I'm gonna open up my weapon of choice when it comes to video editing, Adobe Premiere. Okay guys, so here we are in Adobe Premiere. I already have my three clips imported and I'm gonna create my in and out points. I'm gonna start off with the clip where I walk into the shot. The next clip I'm gonna do the in and out points for is the one where I'm sitting at the desk. I'm gonna drag both audio and the video clip to the timeline. So now the cool thing is with waveforms, you can actually see where the uh, audio should match up where I asked a question with the first clip, which is here, and where I respond with the second clip, which is here. Just before that, you can see where my phone, the speaker on my phone was giving me my dialogue so I knew what to say. So I'm gonna unlink these clips, so the audio and the video. I'm gonna unlink them so that I can remove the sound from my phone. And now let's go into creating our first mask. To create a mask, you select the layer that you're gonna create the mask on, go to effects, opacity, and select this pen tool. Next, you're gonna select 10% over here, and you're just gonna start cutting out the area. Go back and select fit, and you can see a little bit of a, of a line here, no problem. I'm gonna go back into here, select my layer, Turn up the feather. Perfect, and then I'm gonna see that play through. Hey. Oh, what's up, man? Don't say what's up, man. You serious? You're in my seat. I know, my bad. I'm just working on this edit. So, now I'm gonna add the third version of myself where I uh, sit down over here in this area. Select that clip. I'm gonna select the in and out. Drag this one on top. So I know that the first thing I say is something about, you're still, he's still working on the edit, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this all the way over, match the waveform up, so that I say that at the right time. So once I have it matched up to where I want it to be, it's time to create my mask, select the layer, head on over to effect, and let's create that mask, 10%. Once I went ahead and created the mask for that third version of myself, I have three perfectly set up clones of myself sitting together, having a conversation. 
And the key to this was having the audio waveforms match with where they needed to be at the points where I'm supposed to respond. All right, and let's have a look at the final version one last time. Hey. Oh, what's up, man? Don't say what's up, man. You serious? You're in my seat. I oh, know, my bad. I'm just working on this edit. He's still working on the edit? Come on, dude. You were supposed to have that done yesterday. No. You serious? Slacking. Get it done. I am. I am. Idiot. Well, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, or if you know of any other uh, tips that could help other filmmakers, drop a comment below and let us know. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one.